So just after we finished recording, talking about the Suzuka Hobby Show and the reveal of MP46 Masterpiece Beast Wars Black Arachnia, we talked about the robot mode and we speculated and we talked about the price and everything that she comes with. And then we said, hmm, wouldn't it be great? I wish you could see this yeah. in an alternative mode of some kind. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if we could see that alt mode? You know? you and know, I, wonder, I wonder how it would look if it was fully transformed in an alt mode. Uh, oh, well, I guess we're not going to get that anytime soon. And so, luckily, uh, from Twitter, uh, a Japanese user by the name of Puchima Blue. Um, it's not as, it doesn't sound as it's spelled, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> He posted a whole bunch of images of the alt mode and from different angles. Now, let me just establish one thing right away. Um, I'm going to say this right now because I've been seeing so many of the comments online saying like how much of a mess this is, especially because from the front, it looks fine. Mm -hmm. Um, And then like when you look from the side, you go, oh, my God, it's a mess. I'm going to I'm going to take two guesses here. First of all, um, I'm reminded of we talked about on the podcast uh, Transform Element is working on their own version of a Legends Black Arachnia. Right. And we saw through them how they're able to deal with the thorax and the butt um, hiding stuff and everything by using these two kibble pieces on the side that turn into her weapons, right? Right. The thing is here is that now, yeah, okay, like it looks like a mess from the side and they're trying to really transform all the pieces into her butt and everything but keep in mind that what's absent from these photos both the robot mode and the alt mode here is we don't see the weapons we don't see how the weapons are going to be stored we don't see the weapons how they're going to attach to the body which up to this point if anything is any indication whether it be dinobot whether it be um optimus primal or cheetor or shadow panther from cheetor Every single masterpiece Beast Wars Transformer has stored their weapons on their body. The G1 right. ones are a different story, but at least in the case of the, mas- the masterpiece Beast Wars ones, they do what the toys do. They store the weapons on their bodies in some shape or form. I'm going to assume that uh, pieces are missing here that would make this a little more flush, combined with a little bit of mistransformation. Um, and that's primarily why I think this looks the way it looks. Keep in mind, the original Black Arachnia toy, her gun that had shot the missile and everything was pretty much where her Black Widow emblem was. And it just, it was this sliding piece that came out of the Black Widow emblem. And it was the same thing on Tarantulas because they were, they shared the same mold. And that became the gun. And then one of the spider legs became one of the missiles. And that was that. And there was a piece in the back that made the anchor missile or the boomerang missile that was on a string. But... This is all completely absent from that. So, and it's it's pretty clear that the the gun doesn't come from that Black Widow emblem anymore. It's you know that's just another that's a that's a panel here in this case. Yeah. And and you know like I said before, I don't know how the hell they were going to hide all that gold, but they managed to. They she folds up and, incredibly and also, under all of that. And also, this might not be it. It might not be f- like transformed fully. You know, it's just done for display purposes. Oh, yeah. Well, I I feel partially that this is mistransformed, combined with the fact that the weapons are not present. And someone else pointed this out also is there's a shot of uh, Black Arachnia um, in robot mode. And it's a really close up shot of just the back of her. And there's nothing really to mention about the back of her or anything. It just kind of shows where it plugs in if she wants to be attached to the web. But the one thing that they pointed out is they noticed that some of the paint is chipping on different parts of the... uh, of the toy and mm. what that means to me is that this is a hand-painted prototype uh. as, as opposed to the the final prototype and so if it's a hand-painted prototype what that means also is they probably were being very careful and fragile on how they transform this so they probably didn't Kid want gloves. Kid yeah gloves. they didn't want to smush it all together because clearly like and it'll that, just snap yeah, like everything goes into her butt. No, no pun intended. Everything's in her butt. <laughs> Some someone's gonna quote me Phrasing. on that. Someone's gonna quote quote me on that. That's gonna but, be a song. Yeah, <laughs> everything goes into her butt. But but but, but everything but, goes into but, her butt. Mm, mm. And everything just goes in there. But yeah, the point is, is that like, I get a feeling there's 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 stuff that's missing from this. That being said, ignoring, you know, the kibble and everything. That that shot from the front. Uh, it looks incredible. 
Like I am, I am very happy with how this turned out. I love how they even made the little detail of the paint on her little, like, I don't even know how to put them, like her little hand claws that she Mm -hmm. has at the front. Like those were like that she would use when she would like emote when she was in spider mode. Like, like I know tarantulas would use it to rub his hands together, like an evil, like, like, (laughs) little mandibles together, like, (laughs) yeah. So Be like very expressive I, they, with it. they put the little purple and yellow paint on top of like the orangey gold. She looks amazing. Look, let's be real here. Very like, I, I, and, and I'll be honest, every Beast Wars um, masterpiece I have thus far, with the exception of Dinobot, I bought two of because I, I couldn't keep them just in one mode. Mm-hmm. So I have him in both modes for each one. Dinobot, I'm still, <laughs> let's just wait for now because he's expensive. But the point is, is that I understand how 99.99% of people are going to have this in robot mode anyways. So it's not too big of a deal that everything is kind of hanging out. Again, I feel that there's pieces missing here that are going to, you know, I just feel that her gun Mm-hmm. is going to be something that, like, uh, I'm trying to, like, think of a good example. Anyone who owns Polar Claw and how Polar Claw, uh, one of his feet turns into a bat. and oh, yeah. And that bat, like, it unfolds to make the, the, like, it unfolds to make the bat, but it wraps around to make the foot. It's the same thing. I imagine the reverse of that. Her gun is something that's all wrapped up, but when it becomes the side of her thorax, it unfolds to then cover it. And because and because it says it says here, you know, like like at least in, in the parts listing, you have uh, the poison anchor and then you have the miss the anchor missile, you know, mm-hmm. that if, if they're two separate guns, let's say they're they're not just missiles, but two individual guns completely because they don't say because they say here like visor, cable, cord, spider, web parts, uh, a base. And then the only thing that sounds like weapons is poison anchor, missile yeah. anchor. If they're two separate guns, then those are two separate pieces that could wrap around the side of that booty and yeah. cover and cover that up, you know? But again, this is just abdomen? me this is me speculating. I mean, for even if in all honesty, even if it ends up it's just like this and it's they're not changing anything, I'm totally fine with it because this was a design that really in the end was never intended to be this good. You know, it was never intended to get this far. It's kind of like, I mean, anyone who's a a super robot fan and they know the character of Getter Robo, um, <laughs> Getter Robo is one of those designs that was never intended to ever work. And it never will be able to work because it's impossible. The toy turns one color from another <laughs> when it transforms. And they've done Soul of Chogokins, which are kind of like the masterpiece equivalency for Bandai stuff. They did Soul of Chogokins of Get a Robo, and none of them are perfect because they know it's impossible. And it's the same thing here where it's like the fact that they've done this much is remarkable. You know, when I saw Dinobot, I was like, oh, my God, is there nothing they can't do? Right. You know? and, exactly. to, and to me, Black Arachnia was the only one that I thought would have been difficult because I look at Pterosaur and I'm like, you could fold that stuff up. That's not <laughs> tough. You know, what I mean, and then like you could probably use the show model for that. Well, that's what I'm trying, like, I'll, or at I'll, least a, a, a rough guide of the show model. Like, yeah, yeah, we could flip that in. We can I, make I, that a little bit better. We can clean that up. I feel, I feel like most of the Beast Wars toys did a pretty darn good job the first time around. Obviously, like you know, you look at the old. I think Beast... the bigger they were, the better they they. Oh were, yeah, the more the more, more budget accurate, they had. You know, yeah. Well, so like the the. Scorponok, uh Optimus Prime, uh Optimus Prime. Primal, excuse me, um Megatron. I also think it's a little bit of chicken before the egg where season one stuff, like all the season one stuff came before the show, so there was more of an artistic liberty. Like the toys were made first. They didn't know that there was gonna be a show. And then they did the show and they took artistic liberty with the toys, like getting rid of the mutant heads that a lot of mm-hmm. the characters had and stuff. Where when they did trans metals and onward, there was that symbiosis. They were working together. So, but I also, so, but also with some of the first, uh, the first season stuff, they actually like you'll see like Optimus Primal transform, and it's like okay, if I held my toy down like this and started moving and twisting his his uh, hips and everything like that. Oh yeah, they would they would try know. to mimic it. Yeah, they, yeah, would, they try would mimic th- it pretty pretty well, pretty convincingly. You Beast know? Wars like, Megatron probably the first season one is probably the best example of that. Mm-hmm. Literally like the stand up twist, you know. Yeah. Um, but the point is, is that like she was a repaint character, not intended. Like it wasn't in the cards originally, 
And it was just kind of, it, it's the same thing with like Tigatron, where Tigatron could totally happen, like the engineering's yeah. there. But it's like even Tigatron was just kind of like, oh, let's just take the Cheetor mold, slap you it just... out of bang, boom. You know? Oh, I, th- I, I and if they did like a Tigatron now, I think he would just be a thicker Cheetor, if anything. Oh, yeah. Like I said, they would that just bulk one's, him up a little bit. that's not impossible. The Cheetor proves that it's not impossible because the Cheetor was the challenge, getting mm. that skinny Cheetah into something that was a thicker robot mode and they managed to I thought to they pull were kind of halfway there with their anniversary one, no? Uh, uh like not exactly there, but you know, they so were okay, trying. Guess, if if you weren't a deluxe mold, I could see where you're going with this. They were know? try. They were definitely trying. But I mean, that being said, like her, she was the one that I thought was going to be the toughest just because she again, where did all the magic colors, you know, where did all those colors come from? Yeah. And the evolution of that character from a toy perspective, which was she was a tarantulas repaint. And then, you know, there was the animated toy. So they kind of like, OK, well, they did a retool for the Transformers Legends line with Sakamoto, which kind of made, you know, kind of did a little bit of what the Beast Wars character had, but not quite there. You know, there was like hanging breast pieces off of it. Mm-hmm. And, and again, it, it wasn't perfect. It was what it was. But this is. This is incredible. I'm very happy with it. I'm getting two of them. No, you know, day one. Mm. But that that was gi- a given to begin with. Not to mention she's affordable. Um, unlike the past two Beast Wars guys, which I could understand some people going like, I'm going to wait for the bootleg, which I don't think is going to happen. But um, this is great. I'm excited. Let us know what you think. Let yeah. us know. Let us know. How you think they're going to handle this? Do you think this is a mistransformation? Do you think that there's more to this than meets the eye? We're going to see some pieces that we haven't seen yet. Because, again, those weapons aren't there. Those those facial expression pieces aren't there. There's still a lot missing here. So hopefully we're going to see more. Hopefully you won't have to hear our voice the next day going like, we got another update. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hopefully we'll learn about it sooner than later, but not too soon. Um, let us know what you think. 